is deadliest. Hello everybody, Gilligan Kruger 0829 here, and welcome to another announcement slash discussion topic video. First off, let me start by saying something that I'm not sure if I've said this or not, but I will clear up. I am a huge fan of Deadliest Warrior. I've seen every episode up till now. I like the format that it's kind of takes a historical approach, but I don't think it takes itself too seriously. The fact that you pit two characters or troops or legions that have never fought each other and now you're putting them straight up against each other is a really cool concept. There was a show on Animal Planet and Discovery Channel called Animal Face-Off that I really liked a few years ago too, but as I said, I think that show took itself too seriously. But this one, this show is a lot of fun. And now, after months of anticipation, Season 3 has begun with the premiere episode of George Washington vs. Napoleon Bonaparte. Now, I saw it about yesterday in the morning, and let me tell you, I thought it was incredible. One of the best episodes so far. I would put it up there with Pirate vs. Knight and Waffen SS vs. Viet Cong. I really liked this episode. I liked the approach they made to it. I liked it how in this episode, and I think they're going to do this in the entire season, they've made it more realistic. Now they've started programming X factors like fatigue and logistics and generalship. I really thought that was cool. And, of course, I'm a huge history buff. A history nerd, more like it. Like, I can't shoot out facts every which away, but I thought the idea of Napoleon fighting Washington was really cool. And ever since, I knew I would be sad no matter who won, but I'm not going to reveal who won. If you haven't seen it, check it out on the Deadliest Warriors site, but let me say that it was one of the closest battles ever. I think the closest battle on Deadliest Warriors so far, with I think there's only 1% separating the two combatants. I was satisfied, though. I really like this episode. I like the more realistic tone they had, but I, again, I still don't think this show is taking itself too seriously, and I think this is going to be a great season. If you've seen Deadliest Warrior Season 3, Episode 1, tell me what you thought out of it in this comment section below, and tell me which episodes other than this one are you excited for the most, and what's your thought on the entire show? Peace.